welcome everyone to the 2020 Sid Barker Medal, uh, in which is a very unique uh, event, uh, to say the least, this year. Um, before I start, I just wanted to throw a few um, thank yous out to, to some pretty important stakeholders that allowed our great football club this year to complete um, one of the most challenging seasons the AFL has, has ever had to complete. So uh, I'd just like to start with thanking all of our current players um, that sacrificed so much this year to, to go up north uh, and, and complete the season. Um, I was very proud of the way we, we fought it out um, under some very challenging circumstances um, and we got there in the end. Um, also to, to all of the North Melbourne Football Club staff, um, coaches, fitness, um, all of our football department staff that, that made the trek up north. Um, all your efforts throughout the year um, were immense, um, allowed us and gave us the resources required to be able to get out every weekend and, and compete for our football club, but also the staff that, that stayed back in Melbourne as well. You guys did a fantastic job and, and allowed our, our great club to, to continue playing um, the game we all love. Um, also on that, um, there was plenty of families that, that made some significant sacrifices throughout the year. Um, I'd just like to thank all the families that made the trek up north um, to Queensland in the hub um, with all the players and staff uh, that were up there, but also the families that allowed most of our staff members to go up unattended but without their families. I think you guys made the greatest sacrifice. So on behalf of all the players, we just wanted to say thank you to the families uh, for everything you did to allow us to, to complete the season. Um, we just wanted to thank our terrific members. We just heard from Ben Buckley uh, around our membership rate. Um, your support this year uh, was immense. Uh, you guys are loyal like no others and we can't wait to get back next year to play in front of you guys. We, we missed that as a playing group this year and, and I think the AFL realised how important our supporter bases are uh, when, when, they're, when they're not in the stands. To our Coterie members, um, mentioned before, um, you guys also uh, have shown your loyalty this year throughout some trying circumstances. Um, we, we felt your support all the way up in Queensland, so we thank you very much. To our sponsors, uh, and in particular Mazda and the Spirit of Tasmania, um, as spoken about already tonight, but without your support, our football club wouldn't be what it is uh, today. So um, again, throughout a, a trying 2020, thank you very much. Um, unfortunately, each year uh, we have to say goodbye to, to a few of our loved brothers um, in, in the, depart, the departing players. Um, we thank you guys very much for everything you've done for our football club um, over the last few years and, and some guys also over the last 10 years and 11 years as well. Um, and we wish you all the best into the future, um, whatever that may hold for you guys. So thanks for all your time and effort. Um, to the coaches and football department staff who will no longer be with us next year as well, we just wanted to extend our thanks there and uh, understand that quite a few of you have spent a number of years at our football club um, and we just wish you all the best going forward. Uh, and last but not least, I just wanted to uh, uh, extend our thanks to our coach, uh, Ray Shaw. Um, no doubt going through a tough period right now, but um, just wanted to, to shout you out, mate, and say that we love you. And I've got no doubt that every player on the list right now is standing right behind you going through what you're going through. So good luck, mate, and hopefully you're feeling better soon. So tonight we get to name the 2020 Sid Barker medalist and, and what an achievement that will be for the winner uh, under the trying circumstances that this year, uh, this year held. Um, after that, I think we need to put a full stop to 2020 and look ahead to 2021. 2020 wasn't up to our standards and I think we can all uh, take ownership of that as a playing group and as a football club. But we must, we must make amends for that going forward and it starts tomorrow. Some exciting times ahead with a new coach getting uh, appointed in the near future, as Braid's alluded to before. And with that, we're going to have a whole bunch of, uh, a whole group of new assistant coaches as well. And I'd just like to take this opportunity also to welcome Johnny Blakey back home um, as an assistant coach. We can't wait to, to work with you, mate, uh, as a player and, and as a coach. And I'm sure you're going to have plenty of positive things to, to help us with in the future. As captain of the football club, I am supremely confident in the talent we've got coming through at the moment. And you mix that in with a, with a few of our steely veterans, I think we're going to be bouncing back as a football club a lot quicker than anyone else anticipates. Again, I'd like to reiterate to the members um, that your support is, is absolutely amazing and 97% and um, retained membership this year, I think shows the loyalty that you guys have for our football club and, and we thank you very much for that. Lastly, to the boys, enjoy your time off uh, and let's make sure that we understand that the work starts from here on out. We need to make amends for, for last year um, and we're all looking forward to doing so. So come 
December 7 for the first of four of you guys and January 6 for all the older guys. We're getting back to work to bring our club back to where it belongs. Enjoy the night. <laughs>